Welcome to the last part of the three-part series, What is Alexio? In this part, I will be explaining how you can contribute to the Alexio Open Source Project. This is a tutorial to guide a newbie to complete a new contributor task and become an open source contributor of the Alexio project. Before we begin, please make sure that these prerequisites are met before you start. The first step is to fork the Alexio repository under your GitHub account as the destination to push your local change. You have successfully created your own fork of the Alexio repository under your GitHub account and ready to move on to the next step. Next, create a local clone of Alexio and download all the files from your fork onto your computer using git. This command will create a clone under the Alexio directory with all files copied. Now that we have cloned the repository onto our local machine, next we need to configure the local repository before making any contribution. The email address you put here should be the one associated with your GitHub account. Setting up your commit email in Git allows us to track and acknowledge your contributions to our GitHub codebase. Now your machine should be set up and ready for you to take on a new contributor task. Find a task that is unassigned and assign yourself to the issue. It's important to remember to always assign a ticket to yourself before you start working on it so that others in the community know that it's your work. The next step is to create a feature branch in your clone so that you keep all changes for a single issue in its own branch when submitting a change to Alexio. Now that you are in the branch Awesome Feature, you can start modifying the necessary code to address the issue. As you continue to work on your issue, you should create local commits of your code to keep track of changes and progress. For details and tips on how to update the Alexio source code, I will link in the description these two pages. Once you have finished all the changes for your ticket, you are ready to submit a pull request to Alexio. First, you need to push your local changes to GitHub. Then, we create a pull request to propose your changes for review. It's important to use an effective title for your pull request so that your reviewers can concisely know what your ticket is about. For more detailed instructions on creating pull requests, check out this page. And for tips and conventions for a great PR description, check out this page. Both of these pages are linked in the description. After your pull request is submitted, it can be found on the pull request page of the Alexio repository. Now, other developers in the community will review your pull request, add comments or questions, and run tests against your suggested changes to validate that your changes are safe to merge. Once all comments and questions have been addressed in your pull request, your reviewers will give your request a looks good to me and approve your pull request. After approval, a maintainer will merge your pull request into the Alexio codebase. We're always looking forward to welcoming new contributors. At any point, if you have questions or need references, be sure to join the Alexio Slack community. Send your questions to the troubleshooting channel and our global community and Alexio experts will have an answer. So that concludes our three-part series to an introduction of Alexio. Alexio has grown into a large and vibrant open source community with over 1,200 GitHub contributors and over 10,000 Slack community members, and we would love for you to join us. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter to stay up to date with Alexio events and news. If you have any further questions, be sure to send them to the troubleshooting channel in our Alexio Slack community. Thanks for watching!